Whole lot of gang shit. <laughs> TRMG shit for me, gang, gang. gang. Gang, gang, yo. Hey, it's your girl Zena back again with Envision TV, and today we got a special guest here. Africa Black is here today with us, and we're gonna, up? you know, chat with him today. So, how are you? I'm hey. blessed. I'm blessed. Everything good. How everybody doing? Good, good. Blessed to be here. Have op new opportunities every day. Thanks. And honored to have you here with us this evening. So, I know your ID is Africa Black. J A. What's, mm -hmm. what's what's the J A? Uh, the J A is uh, my real name, Jamai, and I'm also Jamaican, so I added that at the end. Um, yeah, so, so the J ja, J ja like J ja Rastafari. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, and why you call yourself African Black if you're Jamaican? Um, uh, African. I'm Jamaican too. It's the same thing, you know. Right. If you go back in history, but um, Africa Black is like from my that's like my family tree name. Mm. You know, like I found out about my heritage for the first time like two, three years ago. Cause my mama met her daddy for the first time in her life, and I met my granddad for the first time in my life. And uh, he told us that our roots and what part of Africa we were from. We from Ethiopia, so we uh, made a family group, a family chat, and it was called and it's called Africa Black. So when I started DJing, and hosting, and doing the whole like music and entertainment and all that kind of business. I ain't want no Superman, Hollywood man, so I just ran with that man because it was like already organic and natural, you know? Right, and yeah. it's real, it meant something to you. Right. It's not just a name. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And how, with DJing, how long have you been DJing? Since February, so like seven months. Oh, so now. you do? You're a new yeah, DJ? Yeah, oh, yeah. okay, what made you want to DJ? Because I've wanna... been hosting for like a year now, and I was always like, like on like music that DJ was playing because they were just playing right. like I was on the radio. Or I listened to the radio on like, ain't no difference. I might listen to the radio, you know? Mm -hmm. And there was no creativity. It wasn't breaking records. It wasn't doing nothing out of the ordinary. So I like, you if I DJ, yeah, I can control, uh, somewhat control and, you know, make something new for the people to hear, you know? So I started DJing. Yeah. And what's your favorite type of music to do? You you prefer doing trap or you rather introduce the crowd to something um, new? Overall hip hop, I like to break records, man. I've been DJing for like seven months, but I've been breaking a lot, a lot of records. So that's like my thing. But yeah, definitely hip hop on um, rap. And more for up and coming artists, local artists? Yeah, I like to break records. That's what I like to do, but just anything in, in hip hop. But I've done other stuff too. I've done family events. Okay. I've done Christmas, I've done um, weddings. You feel me? I've done a lot of like um, grand openings for like beauty supply stores, clothing stores. So, so clean so you're music versatile. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's not just it's not just the trap. It's not just the street music. Yeah, anything, you know? Yeah. Right. And where in Florida are you from? So what what artists do you really focus on? What area? I'm from. I've been staying in Orlando for a while now, like five years. But I'm from Broward County, Florida, down south, Fort Lauderdale. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So that's where I'm from. But I've been here for a minute. So like, this is my home too. No, my two homes. I, my, all my people stay in Broward, but I stay here. So I'm the only one here. So I'm like back and forth all the oh, time. Oh, okay. So you came here. What made you come here then? Since uh, you came by yourself, there's nobody here. Initially, to go to school. Well, for I, school I went to UCF. My major was social sciences. Mm. Yeah, I finished. I'm done with it. Oh, that's great. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah so I went to UCF. And after I finished with UCF, um, I just stayed. It just made sense to stay. Right, you I was liked it used, here? Yeah, cause I was used to it and all that, you feel me? And being here is what got you into hosting? Yeah, yeah, I started throwing house parties at UCF. Um, me and my homeboy, Rhino Holmes and Buddha, we started throwing house parties and they were like, the whole city would come out here with Pat, we were making like four, five hundred dollars in a night cause we were mm. charging like five dollars at the door, whatever, right. whatever, whatever. So. We started making a, like a little bread, not a lot, but a little bread right, after we something. split it up. Yeah, and then like, um, I met a few people and I was like, man, if you could do this in the house, you could do in the building and make real money. So we started um, transferring that to a real building and like that's how I got really into it. And then you know? listening to the WAC DJs. Yeah, that, you uh, into all that the, too, yeah. To the DJing. Yeah, uh, yeah. So what, what projects are you working on right now? Uh, a couple of events. I've been working on a whole bunch of events. For the past year, like bringing artists and being a part of events and different things, but I got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot oh, that wow. I'm doing right now. As far as like booking artists and like, I got the new little events I'm doing called the wrap up, and it's been yeah. Going. I was just gonna ask you about that. What is the the wrap up and what yeah. it's all about? So it's like a little series I got on Instagram, all because artists always send me music. I like, flood my DMs, mm -hmm. so I can't listen to all of it because it's like way too much. Too music. much. So I got yeah. a new thing called a wrap up. Some other music is hot, some of the music is not. And I tell them right on Instagram, 
music if your hot. music hot or not. And I tell them why I think that one particular song, not the artist in whole, but that one particular song is hot or it's not. And I put it on camera and everybody can see it and comment. And um, yeah, I got a new thing going on called, excuse me, new thing on Instagram called The Wrap Up. Mm. Yeah. And what? why do you feel enough rappers aren't breaking hits or making hits? Because there's so many people putting out music, but it ain't that many people's songs on the radio. Ain't that many people getting... Because like, it's like a... Uh, monkey see, monkey do. So like, mm. if something worked for, it's my opinion, of course. But if something right. worked for one person, everybody think that same thing gonna work for them too. Mm -hmm. But that's not how it go. Right. You feel so me? what so works like, for him ain't gonna work for you. And not at all. You know, like, like it's all trends and waves. Everybody trying to do the same thing and look the same and dress the same. Right. And, Nobody's and, being original. Yeah. Nothing is organic. Exactly. So and that's what I think. It's getting like I was saying earlier. If you keep everyone doing the same thing, it's gonna get washed. It's gonna get and, washed and out. And it get washed quick. That's why the trends change so fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's hard. Yeah, that makes sense. Why they ain't that many hits breaking because all the music sounds Try the same. Try to sound the same, yeah. So what do you suggest people do to make their music different, to make it unique? Like, what Just, part of the music is need to be changed? Like, is it the melody? Just be yourself. You know, if you rap about what you're doing, like everybody fingerprint different. So if you rap about mm -hmm. your fingerprint. And ain't gonna sound the same the next man talking about his fingerprint because it's right. your fingerprint. Or if you living this way, you know, rap about what you doing, how you living, what you got going on. It's gonna be different and someone out there is gonna relate. Right. But if you trying to if you trying to rap like bruh, everybody already know that. So it's like, man, I heard it already. Mm -hmm. Or he's trying to sound like blah blah blah. Right. That's why that's why creativity is so important. And that's why like the people that you do see blow, I feel like they blow because luck got a lot to do with it. Right. But a lot, lot to do with it, but they blow a lot of time because they ride their own wave. Yeah. And timing is everything, so it might not take a week or a month. It might take a year, take whatever. Yeah. But if it's meant to be, it'll be like it'll LMA. Be. Her song "Boot Up." That song was like a year old exactly. before it actually blew up, and everybody knew about it. And it's like people really like it. It's like this song is old. Exactly. <laughs> and it does take time. It's about being consistent and determined, and you know, so. As far as artists, that's what you would suggest to them. But as far as DJs, what do you suggest to DJs? Because DJs is just important in the music industry yeah. as the artist. It's like, sometimes more important because, like, like it's a lot of whack rappers, I feel like. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And they get on because they know the right people. So in yeah. the world, it's like who you know, not what you know. Yeah, so it's you know definitely the, who you know. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. Everything I don't got. Or been woke whatever. Been into. It's been, like, from a contact. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it's like, it's like... Who you know, not what you know. So if you know the right people and you know the right DJs to play your play your music, then you finna pop because right. you got that you got that power behind it. You feel what I'm saying? Like I know a lot of dope, dope, dope rappers that don't get no respect or no acknowledgement or no kind of like um, love support. Yeah, basically love or support because, because they don't know the right people. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like you go to like bruh and bruh whack, he garbage. But a you couple know? lit people jacking yeah, him, so everybody right. jack it's the bandwagon effect. Exactly. Like. <laughs> exactly. You know the right exactly. promoter, you know mm -hmm. the right DJ. So now we I feel like we in an all time uh low level of talent. Like you know, it ain't this ain't about talent no more. Sure, this is a business. Mm -hmm. Strictly a business. And that's why the game, in my opinion, is so watered down because this ain't this ain't nothing but business. Yeah, everybody just yeah. so many artists. Don't got it. Exactly. And they got the position somebody else deserves. Mm -hmm. Even like DJs. There's so many DJs that deserve to be doing shows and doing yeah. concerts. And they're not. They're playing the same DJs that playing the same yeah. radio. Like you said, the yeah. same radio stuff. Yeah. Ain't nobody being original or being yeah. different. Like, So what are you going to bring different? What's going to make you stand out? What's going to make everybody want after black to be they I, DJ. I sound different I look different I don't try to be nobody I try to ride my own I try I ride my own wave and I create opportunity I don't wait for opportunity you okay. feel me like I just do my own thing mm -hmm. and folk gonna like gravitate to that because they feel that is or it's feel like organic right you know so and it's a different energy that's definitely. not already out there definitely I don't play the same little 15 song like you folk you sound <laughs> like they playing a CD player and they play the same CD every day or yeah. every week or whatever. Every party. You, know, you already yeah. know what's coming next after this song. Yeah, You're yeah, ready. yeah. So I try to switch it up for sure. And as far as even though, you know, you only been in Orlando about five years, this is your home. Yeah. What do you do for your home? Like, as far as your community, are you, like, doing school shows for the school yeah. and helping them, you know, like, things of that nature? What are you doing for the community? I do a lot for the city, like, 
three years in a row, we was a part of a non-profit organization. And we gave away, last year we gave 15 bikes, and the year before that we gave nine bikes away. So like, that's real big. I yeah, feel like I, I do. Bikes, I, can, I can use bikes. <laughs> Yeah, for the kids. I'm a kid. <laughs> I'm a kid. I'm a kid size bike. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. So that that was big for me to be a part of that, and um, that was all not all, but like that was my money and other people real money. Right. None of us ain't famous or mm -hmm. celebrity or rich. It's just all money. Right. Hard working money that you guys I think that was earned. big because like a lot of folk in this city got big names and big money and don't do nothing for nobody. Right. You know, and I like a lot of my events. I done had a bunch, like I booked people that you ain't never heard of. Mm. You feel me? Yeah, I don't book nobody big. I don't care about nobody big because they already get enough light and shine. Like everybody I book, somebody ain't never heard of. Right. So that's me opening door for folk that can't open up for themselves. And that's definitely appreciated because like you said, it's not what you know, it's who you know and who you know going to give you those opportunities. Yeah. And those, the same energy you put out, you're going to get back. So one day somebody will look at you like, you know, he deserves the opportunity. So right. definitely. Much respect to put out good energy to the people because that's something I always get overlooked. You know, everybody goes looking at what people do for them, but not what they do for others, you know? Great facts, yeah. So, but is um, there any social media websites that the people could reach you at? Any, like, information you want to give them on how to contact you and how to talk to you? Yeah, I mostly got Instagram. I don't got too, too much social media, but my Instagram, Africa Black. You gotta um, get more social media. Yeah, you gotta get yeah. you gotta be on all the platforms. Yeah, like, yeah, that's real. That's one thing I need to be more social, like on social media. You gotta get a snap. But yeah, mostly just social Snap parties. I had a snap, a but I fell off of it like a while ago. It was just So you gotta revamp it, yeah, yeah, back yeah, I gotta, to life, I gotta get let back it die. On point. <laughs> I gotta get back on point. Get but, a Facebook. Yeah. You know, put, your, put yourself out there. You gotta be able, people gotta be able to find you on whatever social media they use. Yeah, you know, yeah, you wanna yeah. be accessible in every shape and form. So that's real. That's real. He but, only got Instagram, so we're gonna yeah. see how long it takes before we but get I'm in the snap. streets. I'm in the streets. So Not everybody see. ain't in the streets. So you're gonna have they to see ain't me. in the streets. Yeah, I don't at the be gas station, at Walmart, you're gonna see me somewhere. <laughs> at Intervision Studio somewhere. You're gonna I'm, I'm we'll see him at Intervision. That's definite. Yeah, but I'm here. We, Hopefully you know somebody gotta, that knows somebody. You gotta step up the social media. You gotta step up the fan base. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get right on that. I'm gonna get right on that for real. So, guys, check him out on IG, Africa Black JA. This is your girl Zena V with Envision TV. Thank you for joining us. See you soon. Peace. Blessings. <laughs>